Hello everyone. Today I wanted to show you how we fix the user megaboss could not be uh, created when we, you know, remove the user account from 365 and then we think again to assign the license. We get some error message. Let's see. Uh, first, we see which OU is not synced to 365. We just go to Azure AD Connect and then click Config. And then we want to see the customized sync options and then go to next. So can you go next? If I expand this domain, we see which the so only Intel users of you and the security groups has been synced to the you know 365. We can move the users from the Intel users of you to the other OUs to you know to disable the sync like users of you. Then we can just update. For example, if I go to the Active Directory, I want to delete a user account from the 365. I just go to Intel users, like, uh, you know, I just uh, select this one. I just move this user to the, to the other OU, like the users, I put it here. Just sync one, and then I run this command. Starting to sing, sing, sing.
So I need to close this wizard. So I know just only two or use, you know, it's single to this V65. I just uh, close this one. And run again. So it's, it's success. So if I go to the, you know, admin dot method com, I go to the identity. Users, deleted users. Refresh. Still thinking. Still here, I'm not uh, finished yet. So let me just uh, refresh, go to home. Maybe I run again, go to it. Okay. So it's gone now. So if I go there, I should be able to see this AD sync here. So what I will do is I go to the delete users and then I delete permanently. This will remove the user from the V65. And then after this, we can go back to the domain controller. And then we move the user back like AD sync. This one, I just move to the already know you users. I move to the already know you and then I run this command again. So just I show you how to you know delete the user account from the V65 and resync to add the user again. If I go there, I just uh, uh, refresh. May take some time. Refresh. So you see, AD Sync is uh, added again, but it's a brand new user because the original one is already deleted. So what I will do is, in order to, you know, create a mailbox for this user, I need to assign the license. I just use uh, this one, assign the license, save change.
and then we go to the admin center, cloud admin center, we go to the identity management, and then we refresh. So we may need to run again. Check. So we we'll go to the identity and then we we'll go to delete users or you know this item and then click refresh. We we'll select this one to permanent. Do you need a permanent delete? Then click OK. Refresh. It's gone. It's delete permanently, and then we can go back to the AD again. Because uh, you know, after we move the user out of the sync OU, we have already changed the, you know, the attribute to remove clear all these three attributes. Then we can move this account back. We move this account back to the original OU. Internal, internal users, users, and then we just uh, run the command again. We go to three six five. Go there. Refresh. So maybe I can. So after this, we think, uh, you know, the user account back to 365, we can assign the license, you know, to create a mailbox. And uh, after this, we can create a mailbox successfully. That's what I show you because of the, you know, the hybrid environment before setup. Before that it was migrated, now we want to create a brand new mailbox in 365. We need to remove this. You know, we need to delete the user account from 365, just move the user out of the sync OU, and delete the user account permanently. And then we change the user attribute to delete the three attribute, and then move back, sync back again, and assign the license to create a brand new mailbox for the user. That's all I show you today, thanks.